Astro Kids, and welcome back. This is your 2021 numerological horoscope if your attitude number is six. So, before we get into this horoscope, let's discuss what the number six is all about. And so, the first thing that comes to mind when I think of six is nurturing. The six is controlled by Venus. It is a sign of nurturing yourself, nurturing others. And so it is strongly connected to your health. It is connected to responsibility. This is a very practical number. And so if you are an attitude six, you are most likely seen by others as a homebody, as someone who is very nurturing and caring towards others, someone who is focused on the responsibilities and duties that are associated with being at home, with daily tasks and responsibilities, with health. And remember, as always, that this attitude number is about how you are seen by others. This is what you're projecting out into the world, how you are seen behaving in the perception of others. And so if you do not relate to this attitude number six, make sure that you are paying attention to your other core numbers, especially the number six is a number that can be thrown off by other factors from the other numbers. So this is a number that is all about routine, that is all about care, that is all about responsibility, that is all about love and nurturing. And so if you are an attitude six, that means that you are shifting into a personal year two. This is coming out of a personal year one, where 2020 has been all about new beginnings for you, starting fresh, building up your business, traveling, reaching new heights. This is a year that has been about building up your self-esteem, building up who you are, and really stepping into that confidence. And so if you have not used 2020 to level up in who you are and how you are presenting yourself to the world, this is your moment to step into that. Because as you are shifting into 2021, you are moving into a number two year where this is all about building your solid foundation. And so coming off of that 2020 year of building up your identity, building up a name for yourself, stepping up in your roles, being more confident, more assertive, now you have the grounds to build a solid and firm foundation. Now you have the ability to be more responsible, to build up what you want to see as far as the results that are to come. And remembering that those results will come as a benefit to you as you are shifting ahead into your number three year. So you are very early in your nine year cycle as this is just your number two year that you are starting. One of the biggest things that can happen during this number two year is getting discouraged, is seeing only small results. This is because the number two is a very small number. It is about processing and breaking down information into small bits. It is a very tiny number in comparison to where you have been with that number nine that had that big, wide open array of possibilities and directions that you could go in. And so this is a year where it is trying to teach you to be more stable, more solid, more firm in your decisions, taking things step by step, planning, organizing. This is a year to think small. This is a year to think smart. This is a year to take cautious decisions, to plan, to organize, to strategize. This is your year to get everything in gear as you are shifting and changing into a number three year in the following year, where there is going to be more that is open to you more possibilities that come from that solid foundation that you are building right now. This personal year too may be a year where you are facing difficulties, disappointments. This may be a year where you have to 
reach out for assistance, for guidance at this time. This is a year where you are not going to be able to take on bigger goals and responsibilities. The focus of the two is to minimize. It is to pick apart the details, to plan, to organize once again. And so this is a huge year where you may fall into many pitfalls. And so one of the biggest things that is needed at this time is to remind yourself to keep pushing towards your goals, to remind yourself to keep going when the obstacles and blockages come up during this year. This is a huge time of making sure that you are continuing to push forward towards your goals, that you're not allowing these small roadblocks to stop you. If you need help, seek out help. If you need to break things down smaller, take things slower, take that time to make things right, to do things in the right way. This is a year where trying to take on everything at once and trying to take a shortcut is not going to work for you. Really taking the time to be peaceful, to be diplomatic, to really find ways to push through obstacles and difficulties is a huge theme that you will face in this number two year. If you are running into arguments and disagreements, this is a time to work on your negotiation skills. This is a time to work out those unresolved issues. The number two, similar to the number six, is a number of balance. It is about bringing things back into order, into alignment. And so at this time, this is a year where you are going to have to build from the ground up. You are going to have to find a sense of balance and security. Remembering that you are coming off of a number one year where there was a lot of excitement, a lot of passion, all of that is dying down now where this is time to hamper down, to be more disciplined, more focused, more responsible. This may also be a year where you are more sensitive. Once again, you can run into a lot of problems, a lot of disappointments, a lot of difficulties, as this is forcing you to take everything slow, to do things step by step. You may not see the big results that you want you can also be very intuitive along with that sensitivity. And so this can be a year of really tapping into your intuition, tapping into your spirituality, connecting deeper, understanding how you can once again bring things back into balance, back into alignment. And so you can see lots of fluctuations during this year for you as this is a huge time for you to find a way to navigate those tides and waves that you will be going through to really ride the current and to find that place of balance and serenity. This is a time where you can feel extreme sensitivity, extreme negativity. This can be a time of depression. And so once again, finding that support, understanding that though you are not seeing those big results, that everything that you are doing now, taking these smaller steps, are going to lead to something bigger. That number three year is right around the corner. And so those opportunities, those adventures, those moments of success that come with that personal year three is following what you are building and creating in this year. Stay present, stay focused, make sure that you are taking the time to take care of yourself during this year. This is a year of building. This is a year of trusting in your intuition. This is a year of being cautious, of planning, of organizing, of getting your strategy in order, making sure that everything is in proper balance and alignment. This will give you the best personal year three as you shift into 2022. That was your 2021 numerological horoscope for the Attitude 6. Once again, if you do not know your Attitude number, make sure to check out that calculator that is available down in the comments and in the description box. I hope you all enjoyed this. If you like this video, feel free to leave a like as well as a comment. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any new content as we are shifting and moving into this next year. 
If you are interested in any of my services, that is all down below in the description box as well, along with the free blog and the free group, Astro Metaphysical Love and Light, where you can share all of your wisdom, spirituality, love, motivation, or simply just positivity. I want to thank you all so much for joining, and I will see you in the next video.